Hi everybody, Shavrak here. And for today, I'm going to be featuring the Cabal Vanguard for this build video. I really, really like the Cabal Vanguard in solo situations. I, I don't really find that she really contributes too much to the team as far as uh, team synergy goes when you have a team, but in a solo situation, she really shines bright. So for Poison Strike, I like to go for range on rank 4, and that's as far as I spec on Poison Strike. Uh, this gives me the ability to move freely around the map. If any enemies that are in front of me are too large for me to handle, I can just poison strike through them and keep on moving. For Nightshade Blades, I like to spec for damage. Uh, the Nightshade Blades for me really are just a way of dealing with the Phantoms, to be honest. I'll hit the Phantoms with an Acolyte Shot and then hit them with Nightshade Blades and keep moving. And the DOT and the Paralysis effect usually uh, finishes them off. For Biotic Focus, for rank 4, I go for a damage taken. Rank 5, increased duration, and for rank 6, which is most important, I go for the Biotic Shield, which uh, gives you the invulnerability effect for half of a second and increases your shields by 40% at the press of a button. Uh, for Turian Veteran, I'd like to go for damage and capacity for rank 4. Uh, it just allows me to be able to use my Biotic Focus a little more freely, and it, it just keeps it more readily available. For rank 5, I go for bottom, and rank 6, I go for bottom. For Venom Gauntlets or uh, Fitness, I go bottom, bottom, and bottom for 4, 5, and 6. So a quick recap on my strategy. Basically I'm using Poison Strike, so that way I can dictate the map rotation. I can decide which way I want to go. I usually favor either clockwise or counterclockwise, and with Poison Strike it allows me to make that happen no matter what. Uh, if you don't go range on Poison Strike, a lot of times what will happen is when you go to poison strike through the enemies you'll end up face to face with them rather than through them so it's very important if you're using it to uh, you know kind of dictate the rotation of the map that you go for range nightshade blades I was using them for basically dealing with phantoms or uh, small groups of mooks a lot of times what I'll do is I'll hit them with an acolyte shot and then just finish them off with the nightshade blades which uh, gives them the paralysis and uh, the the damage over time effect uh, for my weapons, I like to use the Cerberus Harrier with her. Uh, her stability bonuses really help with it. It makes it very accurate. I go for the extra rifle magazine capacity and the extended rifle barrel. Uh, a lot of times I will go for the piercing mod with the extra damage, uh, the extended rifle barrel. Whether or not I use the piercing mod, uh, that usually comes down to if I'm going to use armor piercing ammo or not. For the Acolyte, I use the lightweight materials and the power magnifier. The reason I use the power magnifier is because I'll hit a phantom with an uh, acolyte shot stripping the barriers and then I follow through with the nightshade blades and uh, the power magnifier just gives those nightshade blades a little extra oomph. As far as my equipment goes, I like to use for my gear bonus either the warfighter package or the shock trooper package because a lot of times with her I like to use the piranha or I'll use the wraith and in that case the shock trooper uh, upgrade is a given. Uh, but Usually for solos, I'll use the assault rifle, I'll use the Harrier. Another option would be uh, you could use grenade capacity, but I just find on solos I'm rotating around the map fast enough to where I'm hitting ammo box after ammo box on the way, and that pretty much keeps my nightshade blades full. Uh, like I said, I use armor piercing rounds. Uh, if you want to use other ammo, then it's good to have the piercing mod just to compensate for the lack of armor piercing effect. Uh, the Cyclonic Modulator 4 is a beautiful thing with her, uh, just because with the Biotic Focus, at the press of a button, it gives you 40% more shields back or barriers. And if you have the Cyclonic Modulator 4, that's just that much more that's added to that 40%. Uh, another option would be the Adrenaline Module. With her, Adrenaline is amazing. So that's it for my build video for the Cabal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you guys for your support and your subscriptions. And until next time, take care.